Hello and welcome to Kerbal Spacegram. Today I have a couple of mods installed, Kerbal Constructs and Kerb Inside, just kind of for the background stuff. I have BD Weaponry, um, there's a craft out there called the Shitty Defender, there's this craft right here which has been modified to have some BD Armory stuff on it, and we're gonna see what that does in a moment just as soon as I hit this button. And now, a missile has been fired at us. Which fortunately looks like it's gonna miss. So we're all good. Yeah, it crashed into the ground over there, so... That failed entirely. But... Shitty Defender... Will rise again. I'm sure. You know, eventually. I did set it on a rather low fire interval, so it might take a little while for it to, um... Recognize that it needs to fire at us again. In the meantime, I'm going to turn down the engines to give it some time. Because the point of this is actually that I want to get shot down. I do have tons of countermeasures on board this craft. So I could really dodge a missile if I wanted to. But the point is to... Actually, it looks like I'm not going to actually be able to get hit by one. So that kind of sucks. Oh well, I'll design that better ne next time. But as you can see... This plane can drop a metric fuck ton of countermeasures that completely destroy the frame rate. But that's not what we're here to demonstrate today. What we're here to demonstrate today is, well, as soon as that goes away so I can actually do what I'm trying to do, there's another mod made by Ferrum, the same guy who made, of course, Ferrum Aerospace, and um, Near, which is like a slightly lesser version of FAR. He made another mod recently called Better Buoyancy, and it basically changes the ocean physics to where you can, well, you're much more likely to survive impact with the ocean. Is that thing gonna fire again, or are we out of range? No, we're still in range. That thing still could fire at us again, and there it goes. Oops. That sounded like it went pretty close to us. Oh, there it is. <laughs> It went right by us and then crashed into the ocean. Anyhow, he changed the way water works so that if you hit it at a shallow angle, you can actually survive and skip along the water and have various things happen rather than just exploding when you hit the water, you know, like Kerbal Space Ram always has been with the water. So, we're going to see how that goes right about now. Well, not right about now, I'm going to get a little lower first. Kind of hit it gradually. Oh, here goes. Wow. Well then, we've completely landed this vessel intact. I actually was expecting something to blow up, but as you can see, we've actually, because we came down at a low enough speed, we were able to just completely land it in water. And as you can see, it floats. Well, of course it floats, um, everything in KSP does, but you can see it floats kind of well, at least it, I think it looks more realistic. It could it could um, be with other craft that this is better or worse. So, you know, we'll have to see. I'm going to try it with some other craft. But as you can see, this craft floats pretty well. And now it's boat. I'm curious if I can actually get it to take off. That would be pretty funny. But it looks like uh, we're just not going to be able to take off again. Let's go check out a different plane. This time... We're flying an A-10, which I will immediately set to Team B, and hopefully we won't die. We'll see how that goes in a minute. Um, I also possibly should fire off some of these missiles to... Oh, that's going to come close. Ooh. Okay, that wasn't too close, but it was close for comfort at least, you know. And if I remember correctly, it's... Nope, that's not the right button. Do, do I have an action? Oh yeah, I do. Oh yeah, that's how I fire these. It's not a good idea. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. Ooh, hey look! Collision effects. I don't actually get to see those very often. But I have that mod installed. I've had it for a while, but I've never actually seen something skid along the ground. Okay, this time. I have switched to Team B. And a missile's fired at me already. That was scary. I mean, I imagine it would be scary being fired upon while trying to take off. 
desperately hitting your chaff straight into the ground. I have to imagine that's uh, quite bad. Alright. There we go. Oh, let me just... Uh... Oh, we got another missile fired at us. That's what the chaff is for. Or flares, or whatever the heck you want to call it. Countermeasures! Countermeasures is the proper term I'm looking for. Oh, I'm out of range of the shitty defender, but that's okay. Because we're here to crash into the water. So, let's see what happens when we try to ditch an A-10 at high speed. Oops, I didn't quite mean to hit that hard. Alright, here goes. Ah. Wow, that went pretty well. Can we pull up? Oh, no, we can't. Can we spin? We can spin slightly while in the water. Wow, that actually went far better than expected. Let's try that again at higher speed. And getting ready to fire our missiles. Let's go ahead and set this to two-thirds throttle, even though that's going to make it harder to take off. It'll make it quicker to take off. Hello! Boom. Yeah, those missiles try, but they're at a bad firing angle to really get at me. Come at me, bro. Let's actually blow this up. Nah, I'm not gonna take off in time to blow it up. Oh well. Ah, there we go. Okay, all weaponry has been ditched. Let's, uh, oops. We're firing the cannon now. And we're gonna hit the water at high speed and see what happens high speed and at an angle like this it's like the wing Oops. well we disintegrated the plane however the cockpit did survive as well as our weapon manager and a piece of landing gear actually uh pretty cool pretty good all right i'm gonna try one more thing and then i'm considering this done with first of all we're on team b second of all let's fire all the engines at just over two-thirds thrust, and we're gonna crash this into the ocean, assuming we survive takeoff. Which I think we will, because we're moving fast enough now, I don't think that's gonna hit us. Then again, you never know. Yeah, if we were going a bit slower, that might have done some damage, but we are going fast enough to avoid it. Too bad this doesn't have any weaponry, because then I could just, you know, attack that thing, but it does not. Should I, uh, should I land in the water from here? Nah. I'm gonna actually... Whoa, go outside! Okay, let's not hit the ground before we make it to the water. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Let's fire chaff for no reason. Oh, those bounced. Those bounced off the ground. That's cool. Alright, so... We're now coming down in the water. Oops. Okay. Gently. Gently. Gently, gently. I can actually roll the wing into the water at this point. Almost. Because we're low enough. Come on. Touch. Wingtip, touch. Come on. I know this thing's got a pretty big wingspan. There we go. Wow. <laughs> All right, I like this mod. As you can see, it makes uh, hitting the water a lot more survivable. Let's try one last thing. Some of you might remember I have a plane called the Skyhawk that goes super fast and has no weapons on it except for the stuff on the tips. Oh, I thought it actually had more weapons on it, but apparently not. Anyhow, come on, come on, damn it, damn it, fire! It's not gonna hit. It's not even slightly gonna hit. Oh well. Um, yeah, so it goes super fast. That's the whole point of it, is to go super fast. So, let's see what happens when someone is trying to do a really low turn and they accidentally just kind of clip the water. Well, did you look at that? Create a spectacular crash rather than just exploding. 
and actually survived it, which is awesome. Thanks for watching. As always, see you in space. Let's aim at that missile. It might have a better chance of hitting us. It did. It had a much better chance of hitting us. <laughs> so much better chance that I think uh, we're going to die just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Unless I can eject at the right moment. I did not. Thanks for watching. As always, to you in... Ha! We still hit it. With the freaking little, uh, weapon mounts. Thanks for watching. As always, see you in space. There's stuff still hitting this thing. Jeez. How much... How much debris did we throw into it? Okay, now... Now I'm leaving. Anything else gonna blow up? Okay, bye.